Hey everybody, how you doing? I got some more stuff for my street glide today. So let's check it out. This is a low profile break and sequential turn signals for the street glide. Pretty cool. I got the thin ones. They come in a thin and a thick version. I like the thin clean line of it and they're also smoked. So it matches the rest of the lenses on my bike. Let's go take a look. So here's my street glide and you can see I got the smoked lenses on there now on the front and along the back there these are gonna go right under the lip right there what do you think gridley let's go for it huh buddy all right let's get this stuff on the bike see if it works and what they look like all right you can see i got my bike on the little jack there so i can keep it level just to help keep them straight when i put them on all right this is the six pin connector going to the rear lighting and I inserted the new module. This is all the custom dynamic stuff I just put in there. This is the one with the brown wire is coming out to the right side. And the one with the purple wire, which you can see right there, is going out to the left side. So that part's done. Depending on what year bike you have, this is gonna look different. Comes with pretty good instructions explaining it. And with and without the uh, strobe. So anyway, all right, let's get back to the saddlebags. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is prep the surface using some alcohol wipes. Make sure there's no wax buildup or any of that kind of stuff. I'm also wearing gloves so that I don't get any oil from my skin on it. This part's pretty critical. We can get around those little bends there too. We're gonna let that dry real good and then come back and put the lights on. Since I've gotten older, I don't have the best eyes anymore. And some of the videos are showing a pencil and I think that works in a lot of cases. But for me, I decided to use a piece of painter's tape because this stuff barely sticks, but it sticks enough to stay in place, but it won't hurt my paint job. I'm going to put the light on, I'm going to hold the light in place, and I'm going to put this tape in here so I can easily see where I need to put it once I peel the uh, 3M tape off. So let's check it out. So you want to be under there and then come down about a sixteenth of an inch or a couple of millimeters. You don't want your lids hitting the lights while you're driving around, vibration and stuff like that, and opening and closing the lids. There. Lid. And now when I do the other side, I'm going to measure from there to that top of that tape and duplicate it on that side and it should be even on both sides. That's what we're going to do. I'm not saying do this for your bike because I don't want you screwing up your bike if I do this wrong, but you know, I'm going to give it a shot and fingers crossed this goes okay. All right. Alright, those two match up. Those are going to be my guides. I'm going to be slightly above those lines. And this should work. I am going to test the other side, holding this up to it, just to make sure that those lids are exactly bolted in the exact same spot. The left side has the purple wire. And this one won't fit properly if you have the left side on the right because it's cut at an angle so you can see it won't even fit right it would aim straight up so and I'm looking at that gap right there which is exactly what I had on the other side I'm gonna close the lid make sure I have my 16th in there your 3M you want to take your fingernail or your thumb and just rub it 3M tape kind of activates it in there on my reference you could see perfectly straight I'm using that gap as a way to judge 
and then straight. Doesn't take a whole lot for this 3M stuff to work. A little bit of pressure, you don't have to go crazy, you don't want to break the plastic or anything like that. All right, so I'm looking at those two gaps, making sure they're the same. For me, that's the most important thing because my OCD. The bag, make sure there's a gap in there. I have a nice one. Perfect. Close both of these. Let's see what it looks like. Perfectly even. Look at that. We pop off the bags. I'll take them inside and we'll get the wiring laid on the bags. All right, so I brought them in the house just to work on the wiring, but I wanted to show you how they look from the back. Pretty cool. All right, here's the wiring. Coming from the light. Of course, this is inside towards the bike frame, which is hidden. And then I'll probably get some heavy duty electric tape or some sort of heavy duty tape to clean this up a little bit even though it's not visible just to keep it from bouncing around too much is the other side here I cleaned with alcohol again and mounted these little zip tie mounts almost in a straight line across this of course you want some room in here for the shock so Make sure you got some slack in there. You can see here, they do it in almost a straight line. So it's pretty, uh, pretty good. All right, let's get these on the bike and uh, hook it up, route the wiring through the frame and see what happens from there, eh? All right, let's do it. Okay, so I got the left side wire is feeding under here. Comes out right there. That's it right here. And I have it coming right here. So it's gonna connect something like this and I'll show you in a second. But I did have to loosen these two bolts right here and I saw that trick on another video. I'll put the gentleman's link in the description where I saw that. So yeah, this side I got a feeding there and it's coming out right here. I have it zip tied up here so it won't slip. And then this connects here, I'll show you in a second. Okay, so here's the wire coming from the bike. Here's the wire coming from the saddlebag. Right now I have it just resting on its mounts. So I'm gonna have to put the phone down to make that connection. And then put the levers in that lock the bags in place. And this side will be done. All right, there it's all zip tied. This side is a little easier to do. I have it coming under here. I got it zip tied right in this little notch right there. Uh, this is where we'll connect to the bag. This is nice and secure. I think we're good to go. All right, let's get this bag installed and then we'll power up. All right, now to set up the lights to work with the computer on the bike, we're going to turn the ignition on. All right, and then we're gonna turn on the hazards. Then we're gonna turn the ignition off. And we're gonna let the hazards run for three or four minutes. So I'm gonna let that run and I'll be right back. So right now it's in the four minute waiting period. It's doing its thing, communicating with the uh, computer, I believe. So when that's done, I turn the ignition back on and turn the hazards off then turn the ignition off and then when I turn the bike back on it should all be set up so let's hope All right, everybody, there you go. Installed low profile LED bags from Custom Dynamics. You saw I put the headlight on in one of my videos from Custom Dynamics. Really like their lighting and uh, they didn't sponsor this. I paid for this out of my own pocket, but I wanted to share it with you. There's other videos. I would even argue better videos 
on installing these, but that's how I did it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Take care of each other out there. Love you, and keep the shiny side up, all right? See ya. Bye.